For the properties of our special quadrilaterals, we have this table to fill in. Each row is a particular property, and then we can mark an X if that quadrilateral has that property. What I want you to do is first try to fill in the table yourself. Once you're done, resume the video and check your solution. Okay. For the first one, all sides are congruent. This means it's an equilateral, and that would be a rhombus and a square. Next we have both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. That's the definition of a parallel or that's one of the properties of a parallelogram, which automatically means it's also a rectangle, rhombus, and square. That does not work for a kite or a trapezoid. Alright, next, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That's the definition of a parallelogram. If it's the property of a parallelogram, then it must also be the property of a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square. Because anything that's a property of a parallelogram automatically flows down to these other three quadrilaterals. Okay. Exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Well, that is not a parallelogram, so it's not a rectangle, rhombus, or a square. Kite doesn't have any opposite sides parallel, so it's just a trapezoid. And see, all angles are congruent. This is equiangular. Not a parallelogram, but it is a rectangle, and so it is also a square. But it's not a kite or a trapezoid. Right, exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. That's not true of a parallelogram, because we have both pairs of opposite angles congruent there. So it's not true of rectangle, rhombus, or a square. It is true of a kite. Remember, for a kite, our side angles are congruent. All right, next, diagonals, and I did write the shapes again down here. Diagonals are perpendicular. Well, this is one of the definitions of a kite, one of the properties there. It is also a property of a rhombus and therefore a square. See, diagonals are congruent. This is a property of a rectangle and therefore a square. And lastly, diagonals bisect each other. This is a property of a parallelogram, which means it's also the property of a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square. It is not the property of a kite or a trapezoid. And there are your properties of your special quadrilaterals. If you have an understanding of these quadrilaterals in general, you should know these properties well enough. Um, just do make sure you know how quadrilaterals relate to one another and the properties of each one.